when I'm out of time. Uh, thanks very much. Thank you, uh, David and Martin, for organizing this event. It's really great to be here. As Paul said, I'm Robert LaBelle, uh, running this startup, XTI Aircraft, and I'm going to talk with you about the TriFan 600 Hybrid Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft, VTOL, is Vertical Takeoff and Landing. XTI with the TriFan 600 is bringing high efficiency point-to-point -point travel to aviation for the first time. We can take off and land like a helicopter and have the speed and distance of a business jet. We all know, as, as Josh pointed out with Boom, uh, saving time is one of the big advantages of aviation, but air travel often requires a slow drive to an airport. And then a, a little bit of a wait when you get there, depending on the airport. True point-to-point -point travel uh, between city pairs or any distance out to 1,000, 2,000 kilometers has only been a dream until we bring the TriFan 600 to market. Imagine taking off from near your house and traveling directly to your downtown office location or another office or job site over a thousand miles away, a thousand kilometers away, excuse me. Or imagine being picked up at your house and flown with your family directly to a resort destination right to the front door. Incredible convenience true point-to-point -point travel in the comfort and luxury of a business jet. Our leadership team and our plan are very strong, and we are ready to bring this product to reality for the first time. Has seating for six inside the aircraft, flies 300 knots, goes to 30,000 feet altitude, and land right in your driveway. So how much time is saved on a trip? A typical business aircraft trip is about 800 kilometers, anywhere between four and 1,200 kilometers. So if you look at all those trips that are taken, we've done a tremendous amount of analysis here. Even against a business jet, which is the most, probably the most efficient means, you still save almost an hour and a half if you take a TriFan 600 instead. Distance is covered if you take off and land vertically. The aircraft can go 1,000 kilometers. If you take off and land like a normal aircraft, which we can do, it can go to 2,200 kilometers. We will link city pairs like the ones shown here and 100 other city pairs around the world, downtown to downtown, in one to two hours. In Washington, D.C., right now you can take the train from Washington to uh, New York. It takes about three and a half hours, and a one-way trip costs $200. So a round trip is $400. An operator using this aircraft can, can take passengers from New York to Washington and back and forth and charge them only $100 and still make 100% margin on every single trip. We have two big advantages going for us. Number one, we have an incredibly experienced management team. Every one of us has done this before multiple times. This team over the course of their careers have worked on the introduction of 25 different aircraft. We know what it takes to get the job done. Our founder, David Brody, has already founded one other helicopter company in the past. Paul provided you my introduction. Mr. Johnson there it was president of Cessna Aircraft and is also a former Air Force test pilot. Our chief engineer has designed a number of new aircraft and brought them to market and is also a, a former Air Force pilot. And our chief financial officer has been the CFO of two other aviation companies. So as I said, we know what it takes. We've been there and done this before. And we're very confident not only in our ability, our team's ability, but in the technology that we're bringing forward here, we have full confidence in. That's our other advantage, the technology. Advances in technology that are available to us today, some of which have been discussed here this morning, particularly with respect to computer-aided design, advanced materials, lightweight materials, other things, give us a tremendous advantage. So what we're doing here is we're putting a system together. The technology already exists. 
We're taking advantage of it and putting it together as a system. A couple of key items on here. Everybody talks about batteries. We heard about it with the electric car this morning. Uh, certainly, battery power is advancing. Energy density is advancing. But it is not the key item necessarily that gives us the ability to do this, to make this aircraft. There's some significant advances in the capability and the reliability of electric motors, which really drives our advantage. And electric motors and generators, which are very similar, uh, are turning out to be tremendously capable and will run for thousands of hours uh, with high reliability. So in our hy hybrid electric configuration, you have a gas engine, which is shown there, 1,000 shaft horsepower, which powers three generators, and there's three there just for redundancy. Those then power the electric motors in the fans, and that's what lifts the aircraft off the ground. In the vertical mode, when you're taking off and landing vertically, the battery pack supplements that energy and gives an extra boost to the motors so that it can lift the aircraft off the ground. Then when it transitions to horizontal flight, the batteries shut off because you don't need that extra power, and the engine provides sufficient power to the generators and electric motors. This saves a tremendous amount of cost in operation. Meanwhile, the batteries are recharged during horizontal flight, and when you go to land, they're available again for the landing. This is, allows us to operate at one-third the cost of any comparable aircraft. Also, a lot of the more uh, advanced technologies we have at our disposal are going to make this aircraft incredibly safe. Uh, the design that we have provides what I call a super redundant drive system. We have triple redundant generators, dual electric motors in each fan, uh, and then the engine or the battery alone are sufficient in an emergency mode to safely bring the aircraft back down to the ground. Uh, this is what's called Category A, one engine inoperative, or OEI capability, and it's a key item that we'll need to prove in certification. But we already know that that, that, that capability is there. <clears throat> also with this, because we have the duct around the blades, it's very safe. You don't have exposure to people or trees, other obstacles that you might encounter will not uh, impact the blades. Uh, triple redundant fly-by-wire system and ice protection are also features. And then what I call the ultimate bailout system is uh, the aircraft has a full aircraft ballistic parachute. So uh, like uh, Paul said, I, I flew jets in the Navy. Uh, when, when we were out of airspeed and ideas, we pulled the ejection handle and uh, you know, our ejection seat kicked us out of the airplane. In this case, hopefully no one ever uses it, but it's a, a handle that you pull and a huge parachute deploys and the aircraft comes safely back to the ground. It's in operation with a number of other light jets. It has proven 100% effective, and there have been no fatalities in, it, in any time that it's been used. So uh, just to summarize a little bit on the aircraft, $6.5 million purchase price, $350 an hour to operate, which is one-third or less than most other aircraft in this category, 300 knots, and then clean and green technology which is also is what helps us deliver that low operating cost. So where we're going, we believe that the value and performance of this aircraft will disrupt certain segments of the aircraft industry, and I'll show you those on a separate chart. Uses in business travel, personal travel, commuter aircraft, medical evacuation, and other uses probably go beyond imagination if operators get this aircraft in their hands. Market analysis confirms that we will sell at least 1,000 aircraft and we'll create a billion and a half dollar revenue company in five to seven years. This is how we'll get there. This is our schedule. We're all the way there in year one, uh, beginning to procure the materials for a 60% scale prototype. The reason we're doing a 60% scale is because it, it costs a lot less than doing the full scale. We were able to get some really good partners on board to help us with this uh, contributing materials and engineering resources. Uh, by the end of year two, we will have constructed a full-scale test aircraft. Then we'll build two more. We'll go into a full test and certification program working with the Federal Aviation Administration. And by year six, we expect to be in production. A little bit more on that market outlook. 
If you look at where the price point of the TriFan 600 intersects all these other categories, you have to believe that if I'm operating a turboprop or a light helicopter, depending on what I'm using it for, I'd much rather have a TriFan 600, which can do both, both of those missions. And the only other competitor out there in the vertical takeoff and landing world is an aircraft that's still not certified uh, from uh, a company based in Europe and is looking like a 20 to 24 million dollar aircraft, carries two to three more people than the TriFan 600 and costs about $2,000 an hour to operate. This is just an illustration of how low these operating costs are. This is a look at a five year cost of ownership. Uh, the, per the, the purchase price is on the blue, so you can see that we're kind of a little bit of an advantage there. But the huge advantage comes in the yellow, where year over year, compared to other aircraft, you will save a million dollars if you fly the typical thousand hours per year per aircraft. So uh, saves multiple millions of dollars over, the, over any competitor. Another look at our target audience, our target customer base. Almost all flights of aircraft in this weight category fly between four and 1,200 uh, kilometers per flight. And they carry usually only two to three people. They're never normally completely uh, occupied. So based on our analysis and talking with owners and looking at all this usage data, we know that that commercial market is conserv very conservatively 40, maybe a little bit of an upside to 100 aircraft sales per year. We used 60 aircraft sales per year to build our financial model. And we know for certain that we will at least sell 1,000 total units. Here's where we are on capital. We raised about 3 million in, in seed capital and Reg A plus crowdfunding. Uh, we've used that to do a tremendous amount of simulation and modeling. And much, many, many design iterations to get us to the level now where we're very confident in moving forward with the prototype. And we're raising a $20 million Series B round to finish and fly the prototype and construct and fly the first test aircraft. There's been a lot of public recognition, uh, certainly within the aerospace world, but even outside of that, in, if you look at Popular Mechanics or Entrepreneur, other, other publications uh, have seemed to have really jumped on this. We've got some big name industry partners on board and I'm talking to two more who are gonna be very key, uh, who want to come on board. We just have to get together and work out some particulars of uh, what they're willing to, to do for us. Uh, we have customer orders book, a handful of customers that put down deposits. It gives us a lot of confidence. We also have two US patents on the aircraft, approved, not pending. And we have a, a confidence of over 500 crowdfunding investors. So, TriFan 600, we have the team, we understand the technology, we're going to disrupt certain segments of aircraft in this flight category. Uh, there's a tremendous number of uses for it, we think those uses will expand. The operating costs are tremendously low, giving us a great advantage. And the Series B round is open, and looking forward to uh, talking with you after this. Thank you very much.